Howdy. And I hope you guys watched the video on the introduction to tessellation and now I'm about to show you guys how to actually make a tessellation uh, for your own so you can complete it with your final. Please try one first before beginning on your final. Remember the one I'm about to create is just a rough draft and I'll probably make a second video of one that I perfected to show off as your final. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a, a tessellation. I've already made one right here. As you can tell, I basically just created a square and I uh, cut off the pieces and I moved, I moved, uh, cut off this shape and I moved it to the other side over here and I taped it and I cut off this shape and I moved it up here. It was once a square and I just cut it up and put it across and then I began to tessellate it. If you look down here, I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer. I began to tessellate it by, I put it down, boop, and I traced around it, just like that. And then I moved it over, and I traced it, and I moved it over, and I traced it, and I moved it over, and I traced it. And then I went ahead and figured out what it was going to be. I figured out this one was going to be a fish. So let me show you guys how I, how I did this. All right, so I went digging around in my... Um, just my closet and I found I found an old an old what do you call it uh, a manila folder and I went ahead and I cut a piece off of it from right here and I have myself a pencil and go ahead and move this out of the way there we go and then I tore out a piece of paper just an old you know piece of paper I made you know, I tore out of a, a notebook or something just for a straight edge and I'm going to use this piece of paper as a measurement tool just to measure out a, a length. Let me see if I can fold this up. See if I'm talented enough to fold this up, which I feel confident in myself that I am. Oh my gosh, look at that talent. I am talent incarnate. I cannot even fold up a piece of paper. There we go. Ta da! Folded up a piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out. I'm going to go ahead and start up a brand new one. I'm going to cut out just a section of this paper i'm going to make sure i have at least one right angle at least one right angle so i'm going to cut right across this one here i don't know if you guys can see that there we go make sure it's nice and clean actually i'll just cut all the way down why not There we go. I'm not going to need that. Ooh, that's nice and clean. Look at that nice. Look at that nice corner. Rather impressed with myself. Where to go, Mr. West? Why, well, thank you. All right. So I know for a fact that's one I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and just cut a little bit more out here. There we go. So, granted, it didn't have to be super, super nice or super perfect, but it'd be, it'd be okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and mark a random length now you don't want your initial shape for your tessellation to be too big because let's say you're working in a notebook like this which really isn't that big you know it's just a regular size notebook i mean look at the size of it compared by hand i don't want to get a tessellation that's huge because then it takes up the majority of the page right so with that being said uh, i want to make make sure it's pretty small you know about this little bigger than a quarter so i'm going to go ahead and mark an, an area on there so just a just a length, if you guys see, just like that. So there we go. Look for my nicest, cleanest right angle. I think that might be. Eh, this one has like a curve right here. I'm thinking that one's it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that length and use it. There we go. I'm gonna come down a little lower so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I just made a mark. Just like that and then I'm gonna make another mark a little further down like that and now I'm just gonna connect those two dots just connect them connect the dots la 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 Whoop. just like that Ta -da. and then I'm gonna take that mark I'm gonna put it on the edge of my paper and come all the way down here mark that edge same length and then I'm gonna mark it over here, just like that. 
connect those two. And then make the line. Ta -da. Now I'm gonna cut it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up a little bit. Cut it out. Cut it out. Oop, there we go. Unfortunately, I do not have the luxury of my paper cutter because that is in the, the school building of which I'm not allowed to go back into. All right, so what I'm gonna do now to get from here to here is I'm gonna have to start drawing some shapes on two edges. So I'm gonna draw a shape on this edge right there. I'm gonna draw a shape on this edge. And I'm, when I draw the shape on this edge, I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna move it across. And I'm gonna cut the shape here and I'm gonna cut it out, move it across. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Zoom in so you guys can check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. And then I'm gonna do now I'm going to do this one right here. Um, just like that. Then I'm going to cut them out. So I'm going to go ahead and get some tape ready. Because after I cut them out, I'm going to have to tape them off to the other side. So here's my roll of tape. I'm going to go ahead and tear some off really fast. Now you don't have to use duct tape. This is what I just had in my garage. Right handy dandy. And since that's such a small square i don't need that much I'm gonna go ahead and get some ready that's my hand dandy hold music while you watch me tear tape sounds oh yeah i know is that exciting that is exciting stuff so i'm gonna put that over there now i'm gonna get my scissors i'm gonna go ahead and cut this out I'm trying to use as many materials as I can find just laying around my house. Because I understand that honestly, this is not my art room. So I'm going to take this shape, I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to move it straight across, just like that, straight across. And I'm going to tape it right there. Get a piece of tape, tape it up. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna tape up the other side too, actually. I got a big old honking piece of tape there. Boop. I love Gorilla Tape. It's magical. It is so strong that I was using it to tape up balloons for a birthday party in my house. And it pulled the paint off my walls when I removed the balloons. I was stunned. But I fell in love more and more with Gorilla Tape after I saw that. Like, that adhesive is legit strong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice, good cutting. Oh, I hear my doggie. Oh, there she is. She's such a mouthy dog. So much attitude. You're like, gosh, dog. She's really cute, though. All right, so I went ahead and cut that. I'm just gonna move it straight across, just like that. Now the trick is we gotta start using our imagination, start figuring out what is this? What are we making? We gotta use our imagination and start creating something out of it. That's the handy thing about imagination is we can make stuff out of it. I don't know about you, but I used to actually sit outside and look at clouds Heck, I was looking at clouds while I was in class. I actually get in trouble for it. Alrighty. There we go. And there I have my tessellation, my brand new tessellation. And now I'm going to um, draw something out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get my, my sketchbook or my notebook right here. Move everything out of the way. There we go. I'm going to zoom in nice and tight to make sure you guys can see. There we are. I'm gonna draw something. I'm gonna trace it. Tracing, trace, trace, trace. Now, I'm not looking for a perfect trace, nor should you expect yourself to be perfect. There's no such thing as being perfect. In fact, I don't think there's such thing as perfect art. Unless you're a mathematician and your art consists of parabolas. 
I mean, I guess there is such thing as a perfect art. All right, so I just traced it. And now I'm gonna start letting my imagination figure out what that is. I'm not really sure what that is. You know? I'm not really, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna make another one. So I traced it like this, all right? And I'm gonna move it down here. And I'm gonna fit it right into that little space. And I'm gonna trace it again. Make sure it's as tight of a fit as you can. So as I'm doing this, I'm imagining to myself, what am I going to make out of this? Now, it doesn't have to be one specific thing. If you watch my introduction video to tessellations, you can be a multitude of things. I mean, MC Escher, he made bats and angels and he made fish and birds, you know, all in the same tessellation. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the same thing. But I'm just curious, what am I gonna make out of this? It can be like an abstract explosion, but it does have to be repetitive. It does have to be uh, like a pattern. So even if you were to pick out two different objects that this turns into, it has to be at least repetitive. So like, I'm gonna make four, I'm gonna make a little quad. Right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Sweet. Alrighty. I just did my four. And I'm asking myself, what an, ooh, I know what it is. I see a fox face. You see it? You see a little fox face? Alrighty. So there's my little, here's my nose. Actually, I decided against that. Uh, let's see if I have an eraser in here. Do I have a, uh, oh, I do. Look at that. Ah, I do have an eraser. Yay. It's a really crappy eraser, but eraser nonetheless. All right. So here are my eyes. Hold still camera. So I have a feeling this is this like my nose and I have my eye like this and here's my nose. It's an angry looking eye. And then there, here's its ears. And this is all the hair coming out of its ears like that. So I'm gonna make uh, two fox faces. Now remember, this is a rough draft. He's an angry fox, he's an angry fox. And then what else can I make? Hmm, I'm gonna do something the opposite direction. The opposite direction, what else? Oh, it's a Christmas tree. It's a Christmas tree. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and add more little spikes in here like this and then add some you know, Christmas balls. So I have a fox and a Christmas tree. There we go. All right, so that is how you make a tessellation. This is just a rough draft figuring out. So far I've made two, I made that one and then I made this one. And uh, so this would count as a rough draft. This would not count as a final. It's not nearly done. But if you were to make it done, I would suggest start coloring it in like oranges and yellows and maybe some eyes, for, maybe like give it a little black nose, Bloop, give it a little black nose for the fox. And then, you know, of course, if you're doing Christmas trees, um, you know, color it in green with tinsel and whatnot. All right. Well, there's my video and I hope you liked it. Thank you very much. See if I can get this thing to stop.